Hey there, wrestling fans. Welcome to this week's edition of Superstars of the Ring. I am your host, Eric Snook. You'll notice that there is no Frankie Morris this week. He has been officially banned from the studio, locked out. Hopefully, we don't ever see him in here again. Last week was complete travesty. Now, moving forward, let's look up ahead to Stampede 2017, January 14th at Uli High School. We've already got a couple big matches signed already. Uh, the Southern States Championship will be on the line as Dante Steele looks to defend his title against former Southern States Champion Logan Stevens. The Tag Team Championship will be on the line. K-9 Carnage will be taking on Marcus James and Toxic of Society of Sin. That's going to be a huge battle. And then of course, the Alternative Championship match has been signed. Skylark will be taking on Hayden Price for the Alternative Championship and a championship on a pole match at... Stampede 2017. It's going to be huge, not to mention the big 20-man over-the-top rope battle royal. The winner takes home $10,000, and oh yeah, don't forget, the winner will also get a shot at the CCW Heavyweight Champion later that night. It's going to be a huge event, and one of the biggest teams that has the best chances of winning at that battle royal is the Diamond Exchange. They got two men who are going to be in that match, and recently, we heard from the bodyguard for the Diamond Exchange, the luscious, tall, blonde, Hollywood Von Royal, and we recently caught up with her, and here she is now. On January 14th, Hollywood Von Royal and the Diamond Exchange are coming to CCW. We are represented by some of the most intense, powerful, skilled athletes CCW has ever seen. That night, be prepared for thrills, chills, spills, and who knows, maybe even I, the Empress of Entertainment, might get in that battle royal. Be there. Welcome back, wrestling fans. There we heard from Hollywood Von Royal. And you can bet if she gets involved in that battle royal at Stampede, it'll be worth the price of admission. That's for sure. Now, a few years ago, the winner of the Stampede Battle Royal was Jamie McKinnon. In fact, he won the CCW Heavyweight Championship that night. He's going to be one of the competitors this year in the Battle Royal. And you know he's looking to get that championship back. He uh, still pretty upset about never even losing the championship in the first place. And he's in a foul mood. And that's saying a lot for a guy who's always in a bad mood. In fact, he's in our match of the week this week. It's going to be the outlaw Jamie McKinnon taking on the martial arts expert, Jay Lee. And our next matchup is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from the Double Cross Ranch in Canyon, Texas, here is the outlaw, Jamie McKinnon. And he is mad. Of course, he was involved in that triple threat match back at Wrestle Bash 25. He was not pinned, but still lost the match. Eric Moore became the heavyweight champion. Ken is a naturally angry person, but I've never seen him this ticked off, and there you see throwing furniture into the ring, getting set to take on Jay Lee, the martial arts expert. They've met a few times in the past. Personally, I would not want to be Jay Lee right now. McKinnon was the heavyweight champion here in CCW, leading into 2015's Wrestle Bash, but was injured after being taken out by SLS. Had to give up the title, forfeit the title. Daniel Anderson won it back in January at Stampede, and when McKinnon came back to action, he was a man possessed, and now he's even more ticked off, more angry than we've ever seen him. After not winning, 
the CCW Heavyweight Championship back at Wrestle Bash 25. Not being pinned. He's a man possessed. But here comes Jay Lee. Been in CCW for about a year now. He's improved tremendously. The fans love him. You can hear him chanting his name. Martial arts expert Jay Lee. McKinnon, McKinnon attacking Jay Lee before he can even get into the ring. Kenan still wearing entrance attire, and now Jay Z is on the ground. I told you the Kenan was ticked off, but this is just uncalled for. Attacking Jay Z, the match has not even started. Jay Z hasn't even got into the ring yet. McKinnon has attacked him. Now he throws his face first into those stairs. And now he rams him face, face first and the that's still ring post. I don't even know if Jay Lee's going to be able to participate in this match. The crowd here is stunned at what they're seeing as Jamie McKinnon is picking apart Jay Lee piece by piece, just slams him into the announcer's table. And now hits him with the ring bell right in the gut. It's absolutely unbelievable. Like the assault is going to continue. Now he just throws that table on top of Jay Lee. He did nothing more than just show up for his match. And now he's being brutally attacked by the outlaw. And really anybody can do but just look on. Mark Falcone, the referee, former wrestler, he's a tough man, but even he's not going to get involved in this, this assault. There's nothing he can do. The match never started. It's not like he can be disqualified. Now he's just choking Jay Lee on the apron of the ring. He finally gets into the ring. And this is the official start of the match. Jay Lee refusing to quit, refusing to give up, even after he's been assaulted for the past five minutes. This might be brave, but it also might be stupid. And he gives 
Jamie McKinnon the ammo that he needed to keep the assault up. Now he's just tearing that top off of Jay Lee. Now he just delivered an elbow. This match could be over very quickly. Jamie McKinnon just blindsiding Jay Lee. Now he's got the foot on the chest. And Jay Lee. Again, refusing to give up kicks out of that one. So Jamie McKinnon is going to continue the punishment. Wrenching that, that neck, that head. And now drawing that forearm right across the chest. And again, Jay Lee, every time he refuses to quit, every time he refuses to give up, I really think it just angers Jamie McKinnon even more. Had a moment to catch his breath at all in this match. To his credit, he has not given up. Jamie McKinnon dropping that elbow on a pinball one, two. Another elbow right to the sternum. Jay Lee. And there is another elbow and another pinball again. Jay Lee. Gotta give him credit. Kicking out. Getting the shoulder up, refusing to give up, and here's a replay of that elbow, and just look at that impact. It's amazing, he didn't crack a rib. It looks like he might be gearing up for another elbow, and Jay Lee rolls out of the way. We're getting him back to his feet, but so is Jay Lee. Jaylee reverses it and chops him down. That's the first offensive move we've seen from Jay Lee. And he nails him again. And one last one for good measure. Jay Lee taking a lot of time here. He's going to go for a high risk maneuver, jumping up on that second turnbuckle. And another chop. And he calls for another one. And he makes perfect connection on that one. McKinnon is hurt. One. About a one and a half, two cap there. McKinnon gets the shoulder up. But he catches that kick. Rips him into the ropes. And a huge spine buster. Daily fires hard as he could. But that assault before the match may have just been too much for the martial arts expert to handle here. And 
Looks like he might be gearing up for a lariat. He's going to have to watch out. There's a lariat coming his way. The McKinnon lands it with perfection. One, two, three, and that's all for Jay Lee and Jimmy McKinnon. Absolutely assaulting Jay Lee before and during that match. Is your winner tonight? Here's a look at that spine buster that set him up for the lariat. You just see the impact. He may, may as well have pinned him in, but how to go for that lariat? And this match is over. Jamie back to his valiant effort, but. This one, not on him. There we saw an exciting match between Jay Lee and the outlaw Jamie McKinnon. Of course, Jamie McKinnon looking forward to going to Stampede in 2017 and trying to win again. Of course, we're all looking forward to Stampede in 2017. In fact, if you want your chance at winning four tickets to Stampede, this is all you have to do. Starting this Friday, December 16th, go to our Facebook and like and share every post that we put up. You'll automatically be entered into the contest to win a family four pack of tickets to Stampede 2017. Now last week here on this show, Frankie, who was hosting the show for some unknown reason, showed a video from a mystery man uh, that we weren't gonna air at all. This mystery man sent us these videos via email. We weren't gonna air them, we don't know who this is. Of course Frankie and all of his wisdom or lack thereof decides he's gonna show the video anyways. And since then we've had an overwhelming response from CCW fans about who this could possibly be. And we have another video we're going to show you this week. Of course, the ice-cold demeanor of this man is, is... You just can't compare it to anything else. It's very odd, very bizarre, very scary. Uh, and like I said, just completely ice-cold. And we're going to show you another video by this mystery man once again. Who, oh who, will be my first victim? <laughs> Find out at Stampede! Welcome back wrestling fans, there we heard from the mystery man who apparently is going to be making his first appearance here in CCW at Stampede 2017. Of course we're all looking forward to Stampede, don't forget you can win your free tickets, a family four pack of tickets by just going to our Facebook and liking and sharing all the posts that you can see, you'll automatically be entered into that contest to win free tickets. Of course, don't forget, at Stampede, the big 20-man over-the-top rope battle royal, winner gets $10,000 and they also get a shot at the CCW Heavyweight Champion later that night. Of course, we got also Skylark will be defending his alternative championship against Hayden Price in a championship title on a pole match. SOS will be taking on K-9 Carnage for the CCW Tag Team Championship. And Dante Steele will be defending his Southern States Championship against Logan Stevens. We'll have more matches to announce here in the next few weeks, but for now, I'm Eric Snook. Thanks for watching CCW Superstars of the Ring.